Hello everybody, Toki Fang here. How you doing? All good. In my life, I had three loves of my life, and I want to talk to you about them. When I was a 16 year old, my uncle was a fisherman. I worked for him, and he specifically hunted dolphin. And he made necklaces of the dolphin bone. We made these nice gloves that you use in the kitchen. And one day on the beach, I saw a girl. She was lying naked on the beach. And you know, I was 16, but I got a little do it, do it, you know? And, and I asked her, you wanna go there with me, baby? And she said, yeah, and she had a long hair. Beautiful face, you know, nice milky skin, and her vagina was like a this. And the one different thing about her is, is that on her thigh, she had a little penis. And every once in a while, I would suck on it and that not gay, because she all woman. I told you she had a this, okay? And uh, one day, this is hard for me to say. Uh, we were going swimming in, 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 the, in the ocean and my uncle mistake her for a dolphin. He take a bath and he smashed her head in like 150 times. I told him that's a little excessive, but you know, she died. And, you know, on Trang Island there are laws where you know, you are allowed to kill at least three people during your lifetime. So that was his second one. I still have at home in a jar the, the mutated penis. I look at it, I miss it so much. The second time I fall in love with her when I was uh, 22 years old, during that time, Trang Island had a huge tourist industry. So my uncle and I, yes, the same uncle who murdered my first girlfriend, started a business. It was a night skydiving business and we made so much money in one night. I met a girl, she was African, and her name was and she was so pretty, but the thing is, is that she was a black, but she was also albino, so she looked white, so, you know, that, that why, that's why it was okay. And we fell in love with, guess what, the Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. We go to church every Sunday. We had the Bible class, meditations, and we got married, and, uh, during the honeymoon, she, she died in my arm because we smoke way too much crack. And let me tell you something, and this is all rumor and conjecture, I did not make love to her after she died. I never thought that I would ever fall in love again. But 10 years later, I was in the jungles of Trang Island hunting down a Tasmanian devil that raped both of my dogs. And I was going to the jungle and trying to find the guy. And I look at the tree and I see, what do I see? I see a beautiful lady leaning against the tree. She had blonde hair, big doughy eye. She had big teeth, no arms, no legs. Perfect lady. And boy, man, do we have good times, you know? And, um, and you know, two years later, she, she escaped. And I don't know how she escaped because she escaped from the small cage into the larger cage. But not only that, she escaped the larger cage into the dungeon. The dungeon, I don't know how she got out because there's a metal door, nine padlocks, she got through that into the castle, climbed the castle wall into the minefield. She, I have a five mile minefield. She got through that into the river, which is a, you know, a moat, but there's alligator. She went through that and she is gone. And let me tell you something. I still don't remember her name. What was her name? Anyway, those are the loves of my life. I may never love again. If you have, you married, you have, you know, wife or a lady friend, I have for you. What I got? Prostitutes. That's it. Yeah.